Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Mr. Hydra, and this is Rust Console Edition. Uh, this is the fourth episode of my medium base wiring guide series on all of the electrical systems that I think that you need for your base. Uh, we've already gone through a few systems, so we've set up our first system here um, so we can get our lights running uh, and a few other uh, different branches uh, to run some other things that we'll go into later on. Um, but yeah, so we've already got this all set up. But this branch is going to be set up a little bit different. This is a little bit more advanced, and this is what you're going to want to uh, run when you start getting into the larger battery sources and you start using wind turbines and stuff like that. So the very first thing we're going to do uh, is we're going to go from our power in. So I always like to have a counter just so I know how much power I have coming in. And then from that uh, counter, we're going to make a an electrical tree. So it's basically just uh, three electrical branches right here and then each one of these branches are going to be used for charging another battery. Currently I only have two on this system so this third one is telling me how much po extra power I have left over. In this case I have 15. Um, now I will go over the values for the electrical branches here in a second and tell you exactly how much power needs to be uh, put out of these. Uh, and why, but we're, we're going to get through the build first. So uh, get your counter, make yourself your electrical tree, and then you're going to make one of these. You're going to have two electrical branches and a blocker. You're also going to need an OR switch, and I would highly recommend that you always put a switch after all of this stuff to help with any bleeding of any excess energy should you not want to run any of the systems um, after this. So, how does this system work? Well, our main power source is going to be this red line here. It's coming out of our branch out. And it's going into our first electrical branch. And uh, we'll go over this left side branch here in a second. But it's being kicked out into this right side branch, which is doing two things. So, our main energy source is being run here into our input of our battery. And the second part of our electrical branch here, uh, which is set to default 2, you can't do any less than 2, so it has to stay at 2, um, is being run into our blocker. Now, why is everything set up this way? Well, um, what's happening right now is all of the power that we're using is being run and fed into this electrical branch. Now, 99 of this power is immediately being prioritized and kicked out into our OR switch here, uh, providing power into our system. So while this whole system is running, provided we have more than a 99 power coming out of this uh, switch here, um, we're producing more than 99 power. Well, actually, it's uh, it's a little bit more than that because the electrical branches. But as soon as we produce less than 99 power from here, then this will turn off. And when this turns off, this uh, block pass-through will turn off, and it will allow the battery power to pass through. So the only time that we're actually using any battery power, because as you can see, we have an active usage of zero right now. And if I turn on all my stuff, so I have all my turrets going, we still have an active usage of zero. So we still have an active usage of zero. That's because all of the power we're supplying is being put directly into the system. And then we're just taking whatever power is left over to charge our battery and to block the blocker. Now, what do we have to set our configurations to? So this middle electrical branch is going to be your default too. Again, we can't change that. But this electrical branch right here is going to be set to 99. Why is it set to 99? Well, because this battery can only maximum output of 100. So when it leaves the power output into the blocker, we're going to get 100 power, but then once it goes through the blocker, it's going to use a power, and we're only going to get 99 power out of our switch. Um, so everything that we can run after this can only be 99 power. So if we put this branch to more than 99 power, then we're wasting power, and if we put it at less than 99 power, 
then we're not getting enough power to run um, our whole system. So this has to be set to 99. Now this first electrical branch, uh, in this case, has to be set to 166. Now why does it have to be set to 166? Well, because I want to be charging this battery all the time at, um, I think it's uh, 63 power or something like that. But I want to be producing enough power that I can run an entire nighttime, a night cycle worth of power um, through this system. So this 63 power that's going into the battery right here is one and a half times the amount of power needed in order to run all my entire system at night. So you can set this a little bit less than 63, uh, but I wouldn't. So this is guaranteed you will never, ever, ever run out of battery power. And the only time this battery is ever on is if it's nighttime and the wind turbines aren't going, which is very rare. So this battery will just basically be sitting in your base at full power for 99% of the time. And if all of your stuff gets destroyed, well, then you have, you know, a couple hours worth of power on here. Um, in fact, you have... Um, ooh, how many? That's you got lots. You have quite a few hours, so you'll be able to log back in, realize that all of your power is gone, and um, yeah. So now you can see too, we're starting to lose power. So only the power after the 166 um, that's being sent out will be put through here. So now, as you can see, that we're at 165, we're no longer charging our secondary battery. Um, so if we come over here to this system, uh, we can see that we're no longer providing power from the power source, so now our battery has kicked in. Um, I'm only on solar power right now, so I can help with these demonstrations, but as you can see, we got our 100 power coming in, we've got our 99 coming out, and our systems are all still being run and powered um, off of the battery. And as soon as the sun comes back up and we're producing power again, then this will kick back on, which will kick this on, which will turn this off, which will stop the battery from sending out power, which means we will only be charging and not using the power. Uh, yeah, so you set both of uh, any large battery, you're going to want to set to 166. Uh, same with this one, 166. And then, uh, obviously, you need a more robust system if you want to do a third one. So just these two batteries, though, is more than enough to run all of these systems all combined together and then uh, some with extra power left over. So really, this is only if you really need it. Uh, and you're also going to notice here, too, because we're really going to start kicking out of power here, that uh, my automatic lights are going to kick in uh, due to the system over here in the previous video. So that's how the infinite power source works. Uh, again, you set this to 166. And then you set this guy to 99. Oh, there's my lights. This guy is 2, and then this guy stays 0. Um, this battery will be for your more most important systems. I like to have this as basically just designated for my turrets. That's all this thing ever runs. Um, and then this is for all of my other electrical uh, components and stuff that I run inside the base. Um, unless it always needs to be on and it's a small system and then I run it off this medium battery here. Uh, and that's what I'm going to be showing you guys here in the next system. Is some of your early stage uh, secondary systems that you can get running um, to really help you in your base. And believe me, these are going to be uh, well worth your time. So that's basically your infinite power loop right there. Um, install these on every single one of your batteries, uh, except for the battery that you're running your auto light system off of. I mean, uh, technically, you could then run this system uh, off of here and then reconnect all these, but it would be just a big giant pain in the butt. So every single one of your batteries have one of these connected to. You'll never run out of power, and you'll thank me later. Uh, yeah, so uh, as always, thank you guys very much for watching. Uh, please like and subscribe. It helps me out a lot. And I look forward to seeing you guys and gals in the next one. Ciao.